Good morning guys and girls, welcome back to my channel and to a, another vlog. It's currently Wednesday, the... Oh, I'm not very good at dates at the moment. Come on, Bess. Come on, slow coach. Wednesday, the... Ooh, I tell you what, I can actually tell you by checking on my phone. <laughs> Wednesday, the 21st of July. And I can tell you that because I'm currently filming on a camera. Can you tell the difference? I'm intrigued to know. Um, but yeah, I'm up bright and early. It's 20 past six. You might have just heard Banksy go, <laughs> Did we? <laughs> He's like, oh, what is that contraption in your hand, Mum? Morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> up bright and early because I thought today would be, I'm just going to pop these on the gate to dry because I washed them last night. This is the Ponyo's fly masks. Um, and I left them out overnight, but they're a little bit dewy. Cut to the chase, Tina. What are you talking about? I thought it would be a good day. Can I prop this here? <laughs> oh, this is all new. I wonder what this is coming. Am I even recording? Yes, I am, one minute 19. Do not fall off there, camera. First day use it. Excuse me. First day using it and Tina will probably break it. Um, why am I talking to you? Why am I vlogging? Yes, equestrian summer morning routine. That's what I thought we would do today. I put up a vlog actually last night. As I said, it's Wednesday. My regular upload day is always Tuesday. And a few of you said you'd like to see a summer morning routine. So I thought, oh, I know what. I'm getting up bright and early to ride so we can do it in the morning and the reason i'm getting up so bright and early to ride is because currently across the uk actually i think across a lot of the world we're experiencing and this is extreme for the uk an extreme heat wave it's very 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 obviously that deserved a triple word hot um it's forecast to be 29 in Cornwall today, degrees Celsius. That is right, isn't it? Fahrenheit Celsius, Celsius. Um, sorry, that sounded really blonde, but it is early. It's forecast to be 29 today, which is extremely hot for Cornwall. We don't ever get heats of that, heats of that, temperatures of that. Um, and, sorry, I'm blabbing completely. This is very spontaneous, this. Ooh, is the light adjusting or not? Basically, I'm up bright and early to ride him because, let's just give Dinks a little handful of chaff. He does not leave. Oh, he's having a wee wee. He's having a wee wee. Just what you want to see first thing in the morning. Bless him. Little handful of chaff. He's got plenty of water. Ah, uh, where am I going with this? Of course I'm blabbing. So yeah, basically I just thought I would show you what I do in the mornings. It's not so much of a regular routine because my horse's routine does change up quite a bit. It's never exactly the same. Why am I doing a proper feed? Ah, I don't want to do a proper feed. This is not a good video. Um, put some of that back in that scoop till I get that. Basically, before I ride, no. Basically, <laughs> I'm riding bright and early because of the heat, um, Banksy does not like extreme heats at all. Oh look, here's Reg. Hi, say hi. Oh yes, there's a new camera, you like posing for that? Banks does not like extreme heat. Banks does not like any form of heat. So, I'm up bright and early as I have done most days this week. Most days this week, it's only Wednesday. Twice already this week. To take him out riding to attempt to beat the heat. I do always, and that's what I was just doing, like to give him a little something. Wah! to line his stomach before riding him. So he's just got a little handful of moist chaff. I hope this camera is working fine. It's my first time using it. Oh, I just hit it on a hanging basket. Little handful of moist chaff. Then I'll give him a brush. Then I'll tack him up. Then I'll take him for a ride. I haven't charged my GoPro, so it's not gonna be a tack up and ride with me. It's basically showing you what I do in the mornings to, it's basically just showing you what I do as my horsey routine in the mornings. Like I say, it's not always the same, but 
but currently in these extreme temperatures have your chef back um this is what i'm doing so yeah hope you enjoy it <laughs> some of you are gonna laugh at me saying this is extreme heat but it really is for us um it has switched up a little bit normally in regular summer heat i would oh go reg speedy gonzalez i would leave the fat sun cream you're not having that i'm being a good girl and making sure i put that on so i had it in the back of my riding tights ready to put on my arms before i get on um i would normally bring the horses in in the mornings leave them in for the day in the shade have them out overnight in the summer however at the moment because it's been so hot and because both of my horses bellies yes somebody did note that as well on the last vlog and i am doing my best to do something about it although he's still licking that bowl i swear it was only a minute handful of chaff wasn't it porker hey well as it was yeah at the moment i my routine is ride bright and early hello yes we're riding bright and early then put them out for a couple of hours just until like half past eight nine depending on the heat bring them back in for the day pop them back out again at six seven o'clock depending on how hot it is or how much it's cooled down that's probably not the best light you might want to see the sunrise that might be better and then i am then popping them out again i'm lucky that if you're new here my ponios are at home so it's very easy for me to come out at any time of the day to sort them out um but yeah over the last few days i've been then putting them back out for the evening and then bringing them back in at like 11 o'clock so that they are in again over the overnight resting their bellies only having a little whiff of hay yes yes because we don't like porky ponies do we and what else then then they're in ready to be ridden the next morning so basically they're in out in out 24 hours a day more in than out at the moment the only trouble i have with this heat is that my stables have skylights you can see up there um which means in the midday sun when it's right up high in the sky it does get very hot also in my stables for them um which is not ideal however it's better in than out right gentle let's uh crack on and tack you up Banksy seems to think he's relearned how to smile don't you you were playing it yesterday because i had stud muffins yes mm -mm -mm. we'll just give the putty cats a quick brekkie yes oh reggie's going for his new tunnel <laughs> he's not fussed about brekkie look at him we do rich what are you doing? I mean, it would be much more fun to watch the kissing than watch me do the uh, big cat's breakfast. Good for testing out the camera. Oh, maybe not. Tina, going to get it at the right angle. Ooh, ready? Ready? Can we zoom? I think we can zoom. Mm -hmm. Hi. And lying in poop. Another thing I do need to do over the next day or two whilst it's nice and warm is give his bed a full muck out. I want to get the pressure washer out, get all the mats up, give it a give it a deep clean basically. Um, that's something that I do try to do every summer too. But I haven't got round to it yet. As you all know I'm not really competing or doing much with him at the moment whilst he's recovering from bruised soles. So we're mainly only hacking and doing the odd little bit of schooling. So I'm a bit concerned that my vlogs aren't very exciting because I know you guys all like the event vlogs. Um, but I also know that lots of you like the OCD cleaning vlogs. So um, yeah, I'll get Rob to help and we will tackle this mess. I will show you the reality of it at the moment. It's because I me keep meaning to do it, meaning to do Oh, maybe I won't. Adjust camera, adjust camera, adjust camera. Oh, adjusted. Yeah, that's literally. He's a very good boy. He poos all in one pile, but that's literally. He does have rubber matting. 
all of his bed at the moment so that might be this evening's job after work um needs doing asap i have had a new delivery of easy bed which i've used for years which i used to stack in the end stable but since the kittens or kitten arrived um i decided to try and fit it in here robbie did a fabulous job the other day when my haylage was delivered of managing to fit the haylage and the easy bed in and just left out the bales that I will be putting in his stable once it has had its much needed deep clean. Somebody's getting impatient, pouring the ground, stopped just before I got back to him. Um, yeah, let's tack up and ride. Does this camera do time lapse? I don't even know. Hmm, well, you definitely need a groom. Doesn't need to be time lapse because it will only be a quick one. I knew what I'm looking for, but I can't find. Oh, there it is. This. This is one of the best things ever. If you need something for quick grooming, guys, it's a. Oh, look at the focus on that. It's a tiger's tongue. They're very good to use wet or dry. They're like almost like a Brillo pad, but for horses. Um, Patient, let's get riding, Mum. But yeah, they can be used as like a body brush type brush, brush, even though it's a sponge, um, and also used. I find them really good for washing his legs with because you can like scrub and get round like the little bony bits really easily because it's so flexible. Well. Patient, you. Your main needs neatening up. You can tell we haven't been out and about competing, haven't you? I've been going out on my head. If you've been here a while most of you probably know that Banks has pads in now which protects his precious tootsies um, basically his soles are a little bit thin and a little bit sensitive however these pads I find because they've got frog support what I meant to say is you don't generally have to pick out their feet if they've got pads in but yeah these because they've got frog support if you can see there those little like what we call a Christmas tree um, I still pick them out because, ah uh -uh, that's rude, it's been known to get a stone stuck in between there and I've been riding down the lane thinking he doesn't quite feel right and yeah he's got a stone in there and then it's wedged so I do like to make sure they are completely clear although it probably makes it more easier for stones when you're out and about to get stuck in there rather than just a bit of mud but in my head I like those crevices there to be completely clear before setting off on a hat. Bit of sunny sun sun cream for me. Just on my shoulders. Off the excess on my face. Whack on the hivers and off we go. Right, top tip guys for in the summer, not the winter necessarily, but always in the summer, and something that I definitely took for granted why I carried one until the other day when I didn't, is always carry a whip hacking with you. Not necessarily to tell the ponios off with or for that extra leg impulsion, more for lifting up overhanging trees and brambles and things. The other day I literally rode really quickly in the evening about nine o'clock at night without one it was just literally like just get on and go and oh my goodness all the overgrown hedgerows etc were just stinging my arms if you've got a whip you can just bash them out the way so that's my top tip for you this morning Banksy's sighing he's finding me exceedingly boring 
Um, we're gonna get on, it's probably about seven o'clock by now. Oh, I'm gonna start up my app because I'm trying to track, oh, sweaty pocket. <laughs> I'm trying to motivate ourselves into doing slightly longer routes um, to work off that porky, porky belly. And um, for me, using Equilab is a bit like using Strava because, sorry, I'm just doing the track my ride as well. Um, I can go back in and look and see how much walk, trot, canter, etc. we did. Um, I've actually recently upgraded to the premium feature on it because I am doing an ad alongside them. This is not the ad, this is just me authentically telling you a bit about it. Um, which has got a funky feature which I didn't realise worked until I used it the other morning where I press share my ride, it then sent the link via WhatsApp to Rob and he could watch he was asleep actually because it was early in the morning but he did wake up and say I saw you coming back across the road because I clicked on that link and it showed you were coming in um, by Uplands which is a house near us should I say that on here or not I'm not really sure anyway blabbing this is not the ad um, I'm gonna carry on I've used Equilab for quite a few years to be fair um, so it was lovely that they contacted me and wanted to work with me this is the app it's basically started and said I'm 50 eight seconds one minute and two seconds into my ride already but I'm not so I should be pausing that because we haven't even left the drive, have we? Hey? He's like, yes, mum, because you're talking too much, as per usual. Even the cats are getting bored. Right, getting on, going. <laughs> this was not a tack up and ride with me. This was my um, summer morning routine vlog. Come on, because it's already hot, 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 because mum has been yapping. <laughs> it's the story of my life, mum. Story of my life. I definitely haven't really taken the best routes to show you the functions of Equilab because it's mainly going to be walking this pack. Everywhere I'm going is literally stony paths. We've managed to have one canter and then a good long trot up the hill. But from here to home, it's hard stony bridleway, so it will all be executed in walk. I did just get a fly in my eye. If it looks like I've been crying, I had to whip my gloves off and get that out. Um, but yeah, one of the key functions, as I said, this isn't the ad, um, but I do like sharing things that I love, as you all know. So basically, I just sent the link to Rob via WhatsApp and he can see where I am for the duration. He can even see which speed I'm going at, which, as I said, is mainly walk. Um, other functions on it are like you can use it schooling so you can tell whether you've done more work on the left rein or the right rein. You can track how many transitions you've done, you, you, you have done loads of things. And as I said, I have been using it for quite a long time. I'm going to look back into the app and see when I first did it. I think it was like 18 or 19, but I don't use it regularly enough. So since speaking to them, it has thankfully kicked my bum into upping Banksy's workload, which is hard when he's got sore tootsies or, you know, sensitive tootsies. They're not sore. He is sound. I'm just being an overprotective mummy. Um, there's a fine line between doing too much and letting his feet have a bit of a break or not doing enough and his belly getting bigger. But that is also why I'm trying to like juggle the in and out time so they're not actually out in the field at grass not that i even have that much grass oh we got a leaf we got a leaf we got a leaf for too long i love how we got a new camera yeah i'm out vlogging on my phone <laughs> it's gonna be a like transition pro process yeah changing over to permanently using a camera my phone is like my old faithful comfort blanket for vlogging on i'm so used to it i know exactly which buttons to press where to look into the lens not like that um what are you spooking at now, you silly sausage? Right, we just got to cross a little road. So um, morning routine will continue when I get home. So we are back and I need to stop my app. Finish ride, 46 minutes of exercise. He is sweaty, I am sweaty. Although 
it does tell me that <laughs> we actually only did four, no, four minutes and 59 seconds of trot. So five minutes of trot. Yeah, don't finish off that um, hanging basket now. 58 seconds of canter <laughs> and 38 minutes and 37 seconds of walk. But as I showed you whilst riding, all my lanes are quite stony at the moment. There's not many places, especially when I'm trying to go out and stay in the shade. Oh, I can't do this one handed. There's not many places that I can um, have much of a blast. Um, I need to get him to the beach ASA. Ooh, that'd be good for using it. Track it on the beach. Maybe that's where I will make the ad. I'm actually only doing the ad on Instagram, not YouTube, um, but obviously. As with majority of the things I talk to you guys about, I use it anyway, so. There's no harm in me sharing it on here too, is there? Let's strip you off and, oh. Oh my goodness, see the difference? The other day I rode in the Vision one, which I think is a bit more breathable. Unless it's just hotter today, might be that. Ooh, no, it's definitely more breathable. I just felt the inside and it's more like a wick away lining as opposed to just cotton. Um, I've been rinsing banks off over the last few days with this the citronella wash it just means that i can put him out well it's a no rinse wash and obviously it smells like citronella to be called citronella wash it just means that i can put him out straight away and he's got some sort of fly repellent because i don't like putting his although it will dry quickly in this heat i don't like putting his rug on him when he's wet and i can't put him out without washing him off because He's very hot and sweaty. <laughs> Obviously a massive part of my morning routine is to have Reggie snuggles. I've got a hose in my hand though that I can't drop so I can't hold you properly. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi. Good boy. Wah! I'm not used to using this camera. Whack that in there. I had the link to these on my, oh, nearly put that on there, on my stories the other day. <laughs> and they sold out pretty quickly, which makes me giggle. They're on Amazon. Mine actually came with my hot horse shower. Um, and it's really good because you just put the shampoo in there. Then you can twist the top and it shows whether you have it just on water or on water and it says soap, but obviously shampoo. And this is, like I said, a no rinse shampoo. Um, and I'm not actually using it hot today I will be putting it on him cold so the gas isn't turned on but I just like the ability to use that and to dilute it through rather than just have to put it in a bucket basically right let's do it without getting the cats wet easy easy you don't want that in your mouth it's citronella banks oh. I was like mum it's cold Straight off the excess water. Grab the fly mask and woo, out they shall go. You are such a diva. Right, you're not allowed to graze in here, I'm afraid, because this was cut a couple of days ago. Out, 
again, wouldn't normally feed him straight after exercise. However, I need to get him into the big field. So I'm gonna take a little bit of chaff as some bribery to get them out there. Then I will come back. Oh, he's gonna have a drink first. And skip out Woo! whilst falling over the door. Um, cats, you're not being fed again. You've already had breakfast once. That will be a wrap for my morning routine. Um, he would normally have his proper food if I'm not riding, which has all his balancer and supplements in, etc. However, I don't want to give him that before riding. <clears throat> and don't like to give him too much straight after riding either. So he will have that at about 10 o'clock when I bring him in. It's literally like 10 to eight now. So they will spend the morning or two hours out stretching their legs before it gets to our Scorchio. And then they will be brought in off the grass. So you've got to come this way. Dinks has already picked up something he shouldn't have. Like I said, I can't leave them in this field because it was all chopped, wasn't it? Oh, you've got an ear out already from that rather energetic roll. I will admit, I do prefer. Keen to know what other people think too, but I do prefer. I can't get his ear back in one hand. Um, fly masks without ears. So like Dinks's, Dinks has got his ears out. Banks has got his ears in. I find the ones with ears in are more likely to be pulled off when they roll. Um, although he didn't get it off, he just got one ear out. But woof, where do you make them in both? I don't know why I got one with ears, because I do prefer one without. Um, come on, quick, before this runs out. Come on, Dinks! Come on! Yeah, we're currently doing field maintenance, so <coughs> I need to be putting in them in specific paddocks whilst we take time to tidy. Oh, good, you've got a full trough of water. Oh, look how much he rolled! Yuck, yucky, yucky. All right, sorry little legs, your fat belly does not need any excess. Thankfully, they have a massive great oak tree down there that they can get a good bit of shade under. And um, there's a lovely breeze that comes up across the farmer's field. All right, this gate is also broken and I need both hands to shut it. Guys, before I muck out, <laughs> Just taking my riding boots off and completely forgot what I did this morning. So I feel the need to do a quick OOTD because you're gonna love my outfit. Um, well, firstly, my Hakuna Matata top, just because it's sleeveless and baggy and breathable and lovely. Um, hi, Wedge. Hello, he loves this. Come down here to do this. Um, yeah, got it off an Instagram. I was influenced by an Instagram ad and bought it. It was one of those, um, Things that takes like weeks to get to you. But I really like it. Reg is intrigued by the camera, bless him. Um, I've obviously got on my Toggy Shady cap, which I wear all the time. My Toggy um, Spring Summer 21 pink riding tights, because I thought pink and grey went quite well. Ah! Puss Puss and OC having a scrap behind me. Which probably isn't the best angle or light to be doing this, but you all know I'm new to using this camera. <laughs> what I was laughing at most is because I didn't want hot legs or feet, is I put on, oh, not my Crocs, I put on my woof wear, I think the navy one is newer, competition socks, oh, I've got two left feet on as well, that's not good, because um, they are so thin, they're almost like tight, so that's, look, you can see through it, they're that thin, it's see-through, um, but they still stop anything rubbing and fit really neatly under my mountain horse boots, but I could only find one pink and one blue. I need to uh, stock up on socks. So I have, yeah, a left pink on the left foot and a left blue on the right foot. But yeah, I've got nice cool feet and they're not remotely sweaty, so that's the main thing. Uh, and finally, my Crocs. Again, look at all those holes, making them nice and breathable. Oh, all right, I can't get up now. My back's kind of stuck. Might just have to stay here. Come here, you. Come here. Come here, stay here with our kitten cuddles rather than muck out. Although it will make me late for work, won't it? Hmm? Will it make me late for work? Oh, oh, he's gonna climb on me. Come here, you wanted to see the camera. 
to see the camera? Hi. Hi. Well, you like the lens, you're going to try and lick it. Have you steamed it up? <laughs> Bless his heart. He's such a cutie. So lucky to have all these lovely animals in my life. Hello. Hey, Clay. Have you been a little helper, little man? Banksy, on the other hand, oh, I don't know what to do because part of me wants to do a deep clean and full muck out today, but that can't happen till this evening. And part of me knows that he needs to be in for today because it's going to be so hot. Uh, 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 so I might just skip out the poo and then when can I do it? Straight after work. Yeah, straight after work. Put him out, hopefully it'll cool down or at least a bit of a breeze or something I might have picked up by then. And then I can get these rubber mats out, get the pressure washer out and with it being nice and warm, it should dry out super quickly. Definitely needs doing, it's yucky and I really don't want to put fresh bedding down on yucky old bedding but I'm also very cautious of him being in here and it being dusty. Uh, the OGs of you will know that in 2019 he had a cough um, which I treat purely with respiratory boost, but I just don't want anything to risk that coming back. And with this stable looking like it is at the minute, it's likely that it could. I mean, I do try my best to keep it brushed out every day, but the bedding definitely has been in far too long and needs replacing. Decisions, decisions, make it now. Tina, could I do a full muck out in my lunch break and pressure wash? I probably could if Robbie helps me. Hmm. To be continued. Costa del Cazvath, Cazvath is, is the name of our house, by the way, guys, um, is El Scorchio. Whoa! I have been hiding, aka working, in the summer house, and it is so hot in there. The sun, it's nearly midday, um, is directly above us, hence nearly midday. That's where the sun goes at nearly midday, right up in the middle of the sky, directly above. Oh, it's nice here in the shade. Oh, it's nice here in the shade. Hence, hi. Is that the best place to sleep? Is that the best place to sleep? He found a shady spot. Whew. So, yeah, I'm going to get the ponies in. I can't. I was going to put Banks and Dinks. In. Hi, Reg. Put Banks and Dinks in the stable and leave Dinks outside, but I can't, even though there is a good bit of shade. I'm not going to have time to pressure wash that till this evening anyway, so bring the boys in and then I thought I'd better finish this before the morning's over because otherwise how can I show an equestrian morning routine in the afternoon? That just wouldn't sit right, would it? So I've come out quickly, quickly to grab the boys and bring them in. I'm going to grab a treat just in case they don't want to follow me. Actually, I'm probably better off grabbing a head collar just in case they don't want to follow me. Um, Excuse me, somebody's just making the bed muckier. Hey, are you going to the toilet in Sir Banksy's bed and then just scurrying off out? <laughs> what is he like, little terror? Right, head collar, treat, and then that will be the end of this vlog because I'm gonna start another one tonight when I do the pressure washing. I need to rope Rob into helping me. I just wanted to get on a vlog today because I got the camera. Oh, we stood at the gate waiting, bless his heart. Yes, needed to test out the new camera, guys, so I do apologize that this wasn't a planned vlog. It was just a, oh, what can I film today? But it, hopefully it's something you've been interested in. Whoosh, it is hot. Oh, are you coming into mummy, good boy? Blinking flies, look at them. Look at you boys. You okay? You like a treaty? Of course I would. I love treaties, Mum. Mmm. Come on, Tubber. 
In you go, please. In, in, in. Come on. They know where they want to go. Into their stables, or Banks does. Dinks is not so sure. Come on. Drop on. Dinks is going to up his fitness regime, guys. Don't worry. We're going to get him out down the lane. Work that porky belly off. Uh, Banks, stable babe. Oh, he's having a good slurp before we go in. The water that I've put in your stable is probably colder and fresher. Guzzle guts. Intrigued to know your thoughts on my filming on the new camera, guys. Obviously, like I say, haven't even read the instructions yet. Literally just charge the battery. Come on. You're going to slap around me. Charge the battery, put an SD card in and thought, crack on. Um, did actually, no, that is a lie. I did change it to 4K in the settings. But apart from that, I haven't changed any of the other settings yet or even put the microphone thing that it comes with on it. So, intrigued to know your thoughts. Woo, it went dark there. Oh, but it's adjusted nice and quickly. That's good, Stan Boo Boo. Very, ooh, hit myself in the head with the knot on the end of my lead rope. Very, very good boy there. Should we take your mask off? Shall we take your mask off? Little man, let's put you in. He's going for the kitten. Oh, be nice. This way, no, Dinks, bad. Dinks goes straight into the feed store because he knows exactly, no, what to do. On that note, they do actually, or Banksy does need to have his, ah, uh -uh, come on breakfast and supplements because he didn't have them earlier because he was too sweaty after being ridden so come on you in your stable please thank you here one treaty oh mask off -da! stay 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 good boy there we go that is you done to chill for a few hours no you're not having that one thanks he is after his mask comes off do, 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 do. do comment below guys if you've got this far ears or no ears on your fly mask oh he wants to itchy scratchy there we go my boy all right and now i'm gonna make you oh you've got a bit of weepy eye i'm gonna make you a nice sloppy jizzoppy breakfast yeah isn't that a name of a pizza express pizza sloppy jizzoppy we think it is we think it is I have no pockets there. What are you trying to get? Oh, so needy. He's so needy. I love you lots like jelly tots. Right. Getting him his grub. Gonna sign out. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Hope you've... I hope I've managed to use the camera successfully. Love you all. See you all very soon. I've got dust all over the lens. <laughs> Let's hope this is clear. Is that any different? Oh. New equipment around animals is never very good because it ends up grabby. Oh, he's licking me. Oh, that quality though. That quality is the bite that I'm about to receive. Hmm? Right, yes, over and out, guys. Blabbing as per. See you all very, very soon. We do have something extremely exciting coming up. So make sure you ah, subscribe if you aren't already. It's been in the pipeline for a long time and I keep not saying about it because I think oh, is it gonna happen is it not gonna happen is it gonna happen is it not gonna happen but it definitely is going to happen now um, and I'm super excited to share it with you all over and out from me thanks for watching bye bye see you soon mm. Is that yummy? <laughs> it's definitely helping you stay hydrated, that's for sure. Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do.